Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming back. These are going to be videos, or I should say readings for April 2016. I want to say special welcome to all my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing, for watching. Thank you all for your wonderful comments and feedback uh, and texts as well and emails. I appreciate it more than you will ever know. Uh, so thank you and keep watching. Thank you so much for new viewers and new subscribers. Thank you for uh, giving your time and taking chance on these videos and I hope that you will get to enjoy these videos as much as all the other subscribers have up until this point. Um, let's start with uh, April. It's a beautiful sunny day. I feel April is going to be a fantastic mon month for a lot of you. I think for some of you, um, March was a little bit iffy. Um, energies were shifting and people were going through a lot of changes. I do feel that April looks much brighter for um, most of you, majority of you, if not all of you. So let's get started with the reading. And again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please comment. Please um, email me if you like please text me with your comments and also please remember that these are general readings they will not apply to everyone every single time and if they don't apply to you in some months uh, go and look at your different uh, your other signs as these may apply to you much more uh, than your uh, Sun um, sun sign. I find that clients or people who watch often say that when they listen to their other signs, it makes much more sense to them. So feel free to do that and uh, let me know if it works for you. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Welcome Aries, this is going to be your reading for the month of April. When I was shuffling the cards, I asked my guide for a message. Um, this is the second time I'm doing this, so I'm going to get in a habit of doing this, and this may even actually become a larger part of the reading. But what I was being told to tell you is there is a need for you to take care of self, to be good to yourself, to others, yes, but this is predominantly about you. I am hearing that you have been working hard and you have been working to the bone. Um, and I believe that signifies uh, working very hard. English is my second language. Um, I'm also hearing that there is or was uh, very little time for rest and very little time for oneself. I'm also hearing that there is a high need for self-nurturing because it is going to alleviate some of the symptoms that are, are being pointed in your head, meaning um, excessive worries or excessive thinking. And this is thinking that is not necessarily... Um, serving you in a positive way. And I hear questioning, 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 questioning. Also, I am being shown um, reading. This to me signifies you need, you need to sit down or lay down and either have a, a book you want to read or something that would allow you to take your mind off of the things you are typically thinking of. And I feel that this has been going um, for about two to three months. And he does say to me, you've been working very hard. I do feel this is connecting to a job, but this can connect to a relationship or other aspects of your life. So whatever fits for you, take it that way. Uh, but the need for self-nurture here in the month of April and the month of May is very, very important. He's also reminding me the month of April is um, a birthday month of for Aries. So happy birthday who, to those of you who have a month uh, who, whose birthday is coming up. And uh, let's start off with the cards. So the first card that you get is perfect. The card is called Spiritual Strength. And this is a card that represents your, your uh, present situation or the theme for the entire meeting, uh, reading. This is uh, number nine. It This card... Um, um, is connected to the spiritual aspect of you or your passions. Passions can also uh, connect to what you do for a living, but not necessarily. So basically what he's saying to me is that you have the strength to do or to accomplish anything that is being put in front of you. And he is saying this to me in a way that also signifies that you have already been working your butt off. And if you have been working all over the clock or all over the map, uh, if you have been um, working hours that are all over the place, 
I do feel that you are tired and maybe even at times frustrated, but whatever is put in front of you, you have the power to not only undertake it, but also to do it and to do it well. Um, I'm also hearing the word headache. So for some of you, perhaps uh, you experience headaches and if uh, obviously check anything with a doctor um, always, because I am not an intuitive um, reader. I'm not a um, intuitive medium, uh, sorry, uh, medical uh, medium, uh, but he does signify to me that the stress that you have undergone in the last few months, two to three, uh, may be potentially causing you to have pressure-like headaches or excessive headaches that um, are becoming prominent to you. And again, he's saying to me the word relax, so there is a high need for relaxation and for self-nurturing and self-care. So that's your first card. The second card is your past influences. And this card, <laughs> the, sorry, I have to laugh. This is, because um, I believe you've had this card, if not month before, the month before that. And it's a card called Patience. And um, uh, you are Aries, and I know some Aries people are very stubborn. So are other signs, like me, Taurus. Um, and this is a major arcana card. So this is things that are happening, aspects of you, the inner you. And basically what this card is saying to me is that um, you have to be very, in your past, this is your past, you have to be very patient, um, not only with yourself, but with others. And I'm feeling somebody, potentially you, who is very frustrate, frustrated when it comes to uh, either a work situation, a family situation, or even school situation or project. Uh, but the frustration was stemming from either not having enough time or not having enough resources or not having enough work. Something was lacking and you needed to be very patient with yourself and with others and perhaps also very patient with your work if this is pertaining to your career or your work. So that's the card that signifies your influences. The next card is the card that signifies your potential future and perfect. It is um, Earth card number five. Uh, this card says financial and material changes. Um, and I hear the word change of direction and I'm also being shown the sign of money. So let me just see. Um, Okay, he's saying to me that there is going to be a decision or decisions coming up for you that you will have to make. And I feel um, these are not decisions that are going to uh, leave you sleepless at night. These are decisions that are going to potentially help you get a better footing. Um, that's the word that I'm hearing, better footing, better grounding, uh, better financial stability. It could also signify changes with work, perhaps changes in a position in your work, changes of work, changes in uh, the type of work that you do or changes in the company. Um, I do feel these are positive changes, uh, but I do see there's choices. I also see that you might feel conflicted with choices because wherever you are now, um, even though you have a lot coming at you, there is an aspect of you feeling comfort within it because it's what you know. So if there is something that is presented to you in the month of May, actually I'm here in the month of May, end of April, the month of May, if there is something presented to you that's either work-wise, relationship-wise, or something where you have to look and make a choice or decision, please take a hard look at it because I do feel there is a potential for you to have an even better outcome or future. And again, I'm being shown the sign of money. Also, I'm being shown, this could pertain to some of you, uh, with respect to a uh, relationship. Um, and it does feel that some of you may be looking at changing uh, partners, um, making choices and decisions around partnerships, but I do feel there is other partners coming forward um, that will serve I'm hearing the word that will serve you better. And this could also be relationships uh, around work. So 
that's what the future card represents. There's definitely some changes that are coming up, but these are not negative changes. Uh, there is an apprehension because it's new, um, but changes are definitely coming month of May, end of April, month of May, okay? Now, the reason behind all of this, we have the card called Recognition and Reward. This is, a, this is again, an Earth card, represents the physical aspect of who we are. Uh, card number three, which is, um, it is about decisions, it's about partnerships, but the card was shown to me in reverse. So this tells me that not, in not too distant of a past, you're, you felt either defeated or you were not getting the results that you wanted or you were looking for. And as a consequence, you have to be patient um, with yourself and with others. It's almost like you had to bite your tongue and wait for better things to, or better time, um, or better timing for the situation to turn in your favor. Uh, so this is the reason why all of this is happening, and this is also in your past. And this is just signifying that uh, there was a time where you didn't feel great about your situation, but that has passed. He's asking me to show you this card again, the spiritual strength. Anything that's being put in front of you is... He says to me, is assured to come with a good outcome. Uh, now, that doesn't mean that everything in life is going to be guaranteed for you going forward or it's going to be roses. But he's saying to me that favorable outcomes, more than one, are, uh, are not only quite possible, but it's almost, there's an I hate to say that there's an assurance about it, but that's, it feels like it's, it's inevitable. That's the right word. It's inevitable that it's coming. Also, he's pointing me to your head and he's saying, uh, sometimes you go to your head and you think too much and thinking uh, actually takes you in the wrong direction. So pay attention to, to, your, uh, to your thinking. Very, very important. And this is the kind of thinking that would drive you nuts or it would um, provide a negative feedback in your mind. So not necessarily the healthiest things to do, which is also why you need time for yourself and time to recoup. Okay, um, and again, I'm being shown and told um, this will also help with your headaches if you, in fact, are experiencing um, headaches of some sort. Always get it checked out by a doctor, but that's what he's saying. Now, the potential of all of this, we have the card <laughs> Victory and Success. Doesn't get much better than this. This is another card, number six. This pertains to the spiritual aspect of you, to your passions, and basically... There's a part of me that wants to say it's almost like you can't do no wrong um, or you can do no wrong. It doesn't mean that you can't screw up. Of course, you can screw up. We all can, can screw up. But you are on the right track and things are good, looking good for you and they're looking up for you. If you continue going where you're going and if you continue paying attention to your thoughts and your feelings and if you continue to have at least a semi-balance in your life and time for yourself and time to recoup, I do feel that uh, success is, again, the word inevitable. And that's a good thing. And of course, please remember, I am not, um, uh, I don't predict future. I, I always say that from day one. I just listen to what's being said to me and I hope it makes sense to you. So um, when a card like this pops up, it, it, it basically signifies that you're, you're, you're going in the right direction and he says don't second guess yourself because this is again what he's pointing at if if you have a tendency to second guess yourself you probably have a tendency to drive yourself crazy and that doesn't help you uh, for the most part it never does thinking is great but overthinking and over analyzing can often turn a situation in the opposite direction and you don't want that so Great reading, reading that I feel uh, you will find very hopeful. Um, I feel that it's a very substantial, it's a very promising time in your life. 
uh, maybe because it is a month of your birthday and maybe it is because it's spring and it's new energies and everything is starting fresh and it's almost like you are starting fresh on some level but this is shown to me in the way you approach things uh, with your mind okay let me just see if there's anything there's anything else he's also saying please don't forget to be good to yourself and whether that means taking time and reading a book whether it's taking time and having a bath whether it's taking time and going out for coffee with a girlfriend or boyfriend or both uh, whatever it is taking time for yourself is going to help you feel more balanced and therefore more satisfied with everything that is happening in your life. And I do feel you have a lot of things on your plate, not negative things, but a lot of them, a lot of responsibilities. Okay. I hope this makes sense. Uh, I always love your comments. So please let me know because of course, none of this makes any sense. If you would like a private reading to get a uh, message particularly for you, or if you want to connect with a loved one, uh, you can feel free to get a hold of me at jo info at joannathemedium.com or just text me with the number below. Um, the information is on my website. Until May, I wish you best of luck. Please take care of yourself. Please be good to yourself. Thank you so much for watching, for listening. Thank you so much for sharing and for subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you again in May. Take care. Bye-bye.